Hi guys, welcome back to another brand new episode of Gourmet Diaries. Now, today's episode is very special and very, very close to my heart because we are in this month of October, which is also a month of breast cancer awareness. So, today's recipe I would like to dedicate to all you beautiful women out there who might be battling through some sickness or achieving your career goals or anything whichever path you are in i would like to dedicate to you this recipe and all my power and love to you wherever you are you know you will rock it yeah so let's get started and today's recipe i would like to call it biscoff oreo pudding cups super simple as always not a lengthy procedure very very minimal ingredients but all the right ones super rich decadent and above all it is beautiful it looks gorgeous just like you are so without any further delay let's get started so first step i'm going to create the pudding base i'm going to be using two layer of pudding base which will be oreo and the biscoff pudding base the first step let's just combine the base together for that, I have taken your Oreo biscuits and I'm going to use some butter and we're going to just melt them all well and combine them like this. This will be our base for the pudding. Likewise, I'm going to be using up some butter to melt and to combine the biscoff as well. All right, so the base is now ready. Now what we will do is take in our pudding serving glass and pour in the, the crumbs into this as the base. We will need these for the rest of the layers. So for now, we will just keep them aside and take the next bowl so that we can start with the, the cream filling into this. I'm going to add in some heavy cream. And we are going to whisk this till they are fluffy and they form soft peaks. Also next we will add in some powdered sugar all right so this is what we are looking for once this is done we're going to keep this aside and I'm going to divide this batter into two the cream filling into two All right, so I have kept aside half of the, the cream filling because I want to make two kinds of um, cream here for my pudding. So the first into this, into our whipped cream goes in some Nutella to complement the Oreo base goes in the Nutella. And we will gently fold this in. I've used only one tablespoon and again not to worry about the uh, the quantity of what goes in now because I will be mentioning them all in the description box of this video. So for now just watch me make these for you. Now the remaining cream filling that we had kept aside earlier will be now used to bring in some color. I wanted to actually give in a dash of pink cream color into this. So just blend them all together because I want to give it a dash of pinkness in my pudding. 
you know just trying to stick with the theme so yeah a bit of food color here I have used the red food color but a drop goes a long way as you can see so now this is gonna be the topmost layer of our pudding so yeah this is ready now it's just time to layer them all up in our glasses and let them refrigerate for at least two hours so we're going to keep this aside i'm going to go bring back the pudding cups from the refrigerator So here I am doing my first taste test. <laughs> mm. Super creamy with a lot of crunch from the biscuits and very buttery. I can feel a lot of emotions in my mouth at the moment. Hold on. Let me have another one. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of cream swirling in my mouth. I even loved the way it's come out in my in the cup, in the glass rather. It's come out really beautiful. Perfect for pictures as well. <laughs> Give it a try in your kitchen. You will not be disappointed. I assure you, it is so good. Probably the fastest dessert you can actually make in about 10 to 15 minutes from what you saw in my kitchen here now So easy. So please go and give it a try in your kitchen And also like I mentioned at the start of my video today's recipe is dedicated to all you beautiful women out there on the special occasion of this beautiful month of October where we are also raising this issue of breast cancer awareness so on a side note do not, do not keep any of your health problems or any signs of an illness within you. Always, I hope, I hope you have someone to go and talk to, be it your family, your friends, your sister, your brother, or even a doctor. But make sure to not just sit at home and just take it as a silly, you know, as just a silly uh, fever or just growth. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's not going to be that easy. I hope it was but trust me it is not you definitely will need to go and talk and share your problems with someone because early prevention is the best right and obviously we are all here in this together and together we will we can remove this whole stigma of breast cancer and come back more powerful right so once again I hope you're all doing safe in this COVID-19 situation and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy cooking recipes and also give me a big thumbs up and share these yumminess with your friends and family. I love you all so much. I will be back with another episode as soon as I can. Till then take care of yourself. Bye.